All right, how's it going? Let's jump one more in. Just one more draft for the day. And then I'll go do some actual stuff afterwards. Uh, today has been relatively successful. We've had the lovely Gruul deck, Gruul Control. We've had um, the Izzet deck that performed so much better. I am really raiding the Prowler now. Uh, the card, you know, doesn't look all that amazing on its surface, but fucking hell, the tempo you get if you just keep playing them one after another, it's quite wild. And pa oh my god! Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now this is a card that is very close to unbeatable in this format. I mean, it is perfect. It goes in every single deck, and nothing is even close to it, really. Looking around, you have, you know, Duelist and Mantis. Maybe the small little Chimney Rabble. The bad Chimney Rabble. But yeah, absolutely taking the man Manticore. Masticle? Whatever. Let's go. Pack 2 is fine. I am tempted to try blue-white. That would be fun. Otherwise, there's a Batafist. And there's a Shepherd. Who knows? Could be anything. Probably, even if I want to do blue-white, probably going with the Shepherd is better than going with this. Because, you, you, you know, you don't, like, put yourself into blue-white instantly by doing this. But then again, I do like just just playing, you know, just, just forcing drafts. Maybe that's what I want to do now. Do I? Yeah, yeah I do. Did I just get paid off? No, that's the problem. Because now I want to pick up the Paladin. But that doesn't mean I can't. What else is in the pack? We have a Paladin, we have... Augury. The Rat King, obviously. Every, every single draft needs a Rat King. And that's kind of it. So Augury, Paladin, oh, well Punisher is also good. What's the correct pick here? Probably the Paladin. Definitely the best card in the, in the pack. Now here, there's not much going on. Escape Experiment is a pretty good card in blue-white. If the artifact thing comes together. This guy has been pretty good. Pretty good. It gives a couple of things flying, that's alright. It's pretty decent on rate. 2 mana 2 1 is not terrible. It will trade if needed. Well, if we're looking at it like that, I think this is just a better card on rate. Well, what do we have here? In this case, I think Lookout or Attendant are the picks. I'd prefer to be in blue-white if I can. Uh, if, if I get into black, yeah, it's fine. But I'm not going to pick the Siphoner in, just for that. Lookout can be very good. It is an artifact and that can mean stuff. Let's, let's try it. Let's try the artifact thing. Did we get paid off? Did we? I don't know. Is the card good? Probably not. Mites is almost always good though. But the logbook seems fun as fuck. One mana draw card? Closer to like three mana draw card. Closer to six because you are No, no. It's a bit too expensive on, on the casting cost. And now Skull Bomb. Skull Bomb is very good. Here we go. The artifacts are coming together. Another lookout? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Happy with that. I'm just hoping the Master Core is just going to carry me in. It's going to be alright. Here we have... Is this good? Doesn't seem good. It's four mana to bring back something. Is it Artifact or Creature? Artifact or Creature plus Flicker. The thing is... Well, I'm, I'm going to pick it. But the thing is, Flicker doesn't seem... Oh, one slot. Uh, Flicker doesn't seem like all that great in this format. Um, the ETBs aren't amazing here. Like I, I can't think of any that... Oh, alright, Paladin's good, but... That's, yeah, that would work, but it's not not, not going to be playing bl white and black, probably. I guess it's a protection spell. Well, if you, if you look at Flicker as a protection spell, maybe that's alright. No, it isn't. It's a sorcery. No, that's bad. I don't know. Uh, augury is fine. I like an Augury sometimes. There's not many cards that can beat this. Oh yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Let's take the experiment. We're trying some 
artifact -y shenanigans here. Might make art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's see how this works. Onslaught. I I really like in a deck like this, though. Hmm. Nothing. Sure. Scrolls Hive. That's a pretty easy pick. Makes artifacts every turn. Does stuff. Um. Yeah. Absolutely taking that. Disruption. Yeah. So removal spell. We need those. Blue white isn't amazing at removal usually. So if we can get any, we we'll take them. Oh, look at that. Uh, artifact boy comes right here and I will happily pick it because there's nothing else in the pack anyway so with mites you get to loot every turn which is very strong uh, sorry with scrolls hive oh another one of these look see see you get paid off when you pick incorrectly you get paid off later in the draft and that's why you always are supposed to pick the gold card I know if you listen to like limited resources, they always say never pick the gold cards, but they're wrong because, you know, sure, sure, let's say you pick a gold card and sure, let's say then it turns out that then you're in the wrong lane. In that case, yeah, that sucks, but since you always get paid off by picking a gold card, why don't you just pick the gold card, you know what I'm saying? It's simple. It's very simple. Zealot. That is very interesting. I'm doing quite a few might things, but that's kind of it. But I'm also doing flying stuff. And flying stuff goes well with this. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of happy playing this. Because even if I put it on like a lookout and just, you know, clock in for twos and shit, I'm kind of happy with that. Will I stand by my word and go with Prowlers? Yes, I will. I rate the card so well right now, after the last uh, draft. Alright, let's get rid of the Paladin now. That isn't necessary. Hmm, not much here. Sinew Dancer can be played. Probably will not be, but it can be. This isn't a... You know, I'm not gonna win with Toxic here. It's possible, it's doable, but it's probably not gonna be the plan. It's Flyers in this case that I'm gonna win with, hopefully. Vivisurgeon's Insight. Don't hate it. If it's needed, it will be played. Probably not. Bay. Complete Devotion for a Mite. Eh, maybe. Maybe I'll pick up more Toxic Creatures. Who knows? There's plenty of white good ones. Here's my Skull Bombs. And... Ooh, what is this? If you would proliferate, proliferate twice. Okay. Remove three counters from among other artifacts, creatures, and planeswalkers you control. Make it indestructible. That is insane. I will not have any counters, though. I mean, I'll obviously pick it. It's a 4-mana 3-5 flyer. <laughs> I will play that card anytime. I'm just thinking, is there a way to, to get some counters on stuff? And I don't think there is. From artifacts, creatures, and planeswalkers. Yeah, I want to say, if I could remove the... Poison counters off the opponent, I'd happily do that just to have a three mana. Sorry, just to have a flyer. Um, that's, you know, indestructible. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Well, I know what some people would do. And those people piss me the fuck off. Because it works out for them. Some people would just go, you know what, I can splash for a double black card. And somehow they would draw their two swamps and play it. But I know that it will never work for me. <laughs> that it would, it's just not something that's possible. So in that case, I would, would I like a 4-mana four 4-4 four Vigilance? Yeah, yeah. Seems good. Uh, would I like anything from this pack? No, not even slightly. All of these cards are bad. So what are you supposed to do here? Pick a Glizzy's here. I don't know. Okay, we have a Serum Snare. That's pretty good. We have an Attendant. That's... Okay. Take a Snare. Take a Snare. Bounce a thing. Proliferate. Oh, proliferate doesn't really do much in this deck. I don't think I want a Chorus in this deck. I'd prefer another Theorist. A lot of four drops, but... I, I feel like I'll, I'll, I'll be able to make it work. Take the Theorist. Mites? Absolutely. 
Glizzy's here? Sadly. Take a sideboard card and play it in the main and somehow fucking win games with it? Of course. That's what you're supposed to do. I'll take a single dance, I guess. Do I want to? Yeah, I'll take it. I don't know if I want it. Now let's get this done. This looks fine enough as is. I'll put something together. Probably no senior dancers. Or, uh, it doesn't matter. I'll cut everything anyway. And nothing. Beautiful. Nothing again. Uh, surgical base. Probably how many? Two. Fine. Probably can play it. There we go. Alright, let's get rid of everything here. We can leave the domestic, <laughs> absolutely. Alright. Lookouts. Maybe see new dancers later. Hive might. Uh, sure. Skull bomb. I don't think I want the Sears. Yep. Do I want the experiment? Probably is going to do some work. Uh, oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Two of these. What was that? Is that it? Is that the 40? Well, Glissanesia comes in with oil counters on it. And the 5 drop, the 4 drop, uh, can remove how many? 3. If I remove 3 oil counters off of Glissanesia, I have an indestructible boy. Is that? No, I don't care. It's a, th it's a 4 mana 3 5 flyer. It doesn't have to be indestructible. What is going on? Oh. Why these so this is a what's wrong with this? These are very close. White to blue. Uh since I'm playing the bays, I'd prefer to have mm, like this. Call these like half an island. Sure. That kinda works. As as an idea. Inside, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this looks fine. How will this do? I genuinely don't know. Seems pretty strong to me. Is it gonna be a 7 win? Of course it's gonna be a 7 win. What are we talking about? Guaranteed. Good enough. Look out. Oh, and here is the big one. And I get to play it on curve, that's pretty cool. Run, yep, works for me. Let's play the bay, in like this. Sure, take it. Oh, I can get counters on this and remove them later. I can quite easily get those, actually. Hmm. So in that case, should I play the skull bomb now? Or should I make two counters there like that and then taps? Still costs one mana to do, so we can do that later. Yeah, I can do this then. Sure. And then. I don't know why I want to make this indestructible. I guess like if I do, then I essentially win this. How, well, how the fuck do you stop this? Did you forget to swing? Hmm. I think you forgot to swing. I will swing right at you. I mean, like, I, I, I know I want to do the whole counters thing, but if he wants to block, let him block. And then, what, do you have, like, some, some, something good? You have something good? Well, that's your thing. Damage. I wish I played the surgical bay now. Well, is what it is. Yeah, I shouldn't have played land before going to combat, but yeah, is what it is. But I was so afraid of playing this before he plays, because he had two mana open. I was scared of getting hit by the thing. Well, now it's just as easy as this. Activate now. Uh, Phyrexia, Phyrexia, done. Take three off. Bam. Indestructible. We're done. That's game. Good stuff. Yeah, 
base, wings the team. Takes the damage. I'll just bounce the siphon. Cool. Oh, a siphon, I got a surprise. Rock a bay. Scrolls hive, eh? Okay, okay, I like that. Scrolls hive. Experiment. That looks pretty much done and dusted. Yeah. Well, good start, good start. Felt very strong, but then again, I played a busted mythic, so of course it felt strong. Yeah, yeah, looks good. Does it? What am I saying? This isn't great. Like, I'm assuming I'm gonna draw some land. But what if I don't? Then I'm fucking screwed. I, I mean, we all knew I was gonna draw the land, right? I was joking. It's a guaranteed thing. You always draw the land you need. Wow! <laughs> Planet disruption on a one drop. Sure. Mites, huh? I don't think I want mites just now. I'm kind of happy playing this and swinging for full. Theorist is pretty good. Okay. Seems like he has nothing, so I'll just keep swinging. I'll play the Theorist. The Surgeon doesn't seem very good here, so if I can... Yeah, I'll get rid of the Surgeon. Uh, where does that go? Here. In. No. Oh, do you have the... This guy is very defensive, right? Like, playing the Planet Disruption on the one drop and then blocking that just to get, you know, just to gain full life, essentially. That That's so defensive. Like, I don't think you should... Unless he's, like, playing towards something big, uh, I think he's playing very incorrectly here. Yeah, that's fair. That That, that is fair. You, you kill that if you can. What do you, what do, you do here? Will you be blocking? You will be blocking. That's wild. That's wild. Uh, damage? Do you want to do the damage here? Or, is, or do I want to make mites and like loot twice? I'll do the damage. Take five. And now I essentially have lethal ready with the surgical bay. Look out, huh? If only I had a planet disruption, that'd be sick. Anything else? Come on! Hurry up, buddy. Oh, another one. Nice. Do I want to play it? Sure. I'm not gonna be playing the Onslaught just yet. There's no reason. If the Onslaught is not lethal, then I don't want to do it. I'd prefer to loot a couple of times. I'd prefer to get some more white. Yes. Try again. Hmm. I don't want the planes no more for some reason. In with the team. Well, that's game. I think he forgot to crack the draws. Kamba, hey! What a card! What a card! Uh, so, what if I play out this? Will you concede now? What if I swing with the team then? What? Okay, go to damage. What the fuck kind of block was that? <laughs> what do you mean? What the fuck is going- Oh, great! <laughs> ah, fucking hell, these people, mate. These people are just always full of surprises. Ooh. 
I really want to keep this. I'm gonna keep this against somebody in top 52, that's fine. I just really like the cards I see here. Uh, Glistener, see, he's playing blue, that's fine. Okay, now now we have the mana, now we just need to get to... Uh... Oh, that's... Honestly, I'm, I'm fine now. Plays nothing. Okay, bring the ending. Possibly. Play this and pass the turn. Scribe. Okay. Swamp into a thing. Sure. Uh, I guess I'll play out the Chrome Crawler as, you know, it's not like I'm gonna do anything else. Make you scry. Maybe you. Oh, because he's gonna scry anyway, there's no point. I see. Maybe I should have waited just in case he scries to the bottom then. Make... No, there's no. There's... What, what the fuck do I care? If I make him scry, that doesn't make any sense. Swing for three. Make a bigger boy. And then planes, another play this, and then hopefully just win from there. Play a four drop for me, please. Oh boy, Kaito. We all know how much I love that this god. Non light permanent. I can destroy Kaito using this. That's very good. What is, what is he gonna do? I think he's gonna block and swing with the Glistness here. Sorry, as in make this unblockable and swing with the Glistness here. Oh. <laughs> Too slow. What? Why? Why did you do that? Such a weird play. Kaito is a four drop, but that's good. That has protection from Kaito as well, which is pretty good. I will still slam into Kaito, I think. Leave Pom Pom Chan alone. Who's Pom Pom Chan? The fuck is th like this? Oh, I've I've never ranted about this, but. Kaito is my most hated planeswalker. It, this is the lamest planeswalker I've ever seen. And they keep fucking pumping these guys out. I got fresh intel. Oh, you got fresh intel. Look at you. Was a zero draw card? That's pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to do anything. Zero. Okay. I just play Zila. Yeah, think so. See what he does. Problem. So makes that. Yep. Powerful. Go to combat. Hmm. Do I think he has something else? I'm not sure. Mm, eh, what if he does? Eh, is what it is. If he does, he does. He needs the indestructible combat trick for this to work for him. Maybe I should have just killed the Kaito with, by discarding this guy. So I wouldn't have to deal with this nonsense anymore. Because the fact that he gets to draw another card, that really sucks. And I essentially just allowed him to do that anyway. He's losing stuff. He's losing creatures off the board. The mm. move is to sit and watch. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, maybe I should just destroy... Like, why the fuck am I wasting... Like, I sh should just be trying to kill the guy. Why am I wasting time killing a Kaito? Will you swing for four? I mean, I imagine you will. Mesmerizing does, sure. I can destroy that. But at first, I think I need to destroy it. Oh, do I? No. So now that he's tapped out, right, I can get rid of this. Whoops. Oh. That was a mistake. Uh, back in this. Destroy the this. Draw another one, very good. I uh, give the what am I giving? Skytos on two. Cool. 
Masticle gets big. In at you. In at Kaito. Happy days. Probably play an island because I'm gonna be cracking the bay. Unctus, that's destroyable. Artifact reaches get plus one plus that is that's massive though. Hmm. Two five fives to deal with. How the fuck do I do that? Hmm, I can do that. Okay. Swings for ten. Do I have lethal? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I have to do that. No, oh, I didn't. What? Oh, I didn't know that that does that. Kind of sucks. I would have bounced it before he was able to swing. I guess I don't have to swing with everything. I can swing with not the mastic or let's say. So that's still, you know. First striker. And these two can swing in. Yeah, it seems good. It's gonna replay the thing? Probably. No oh, Raptor. I see. Yeah, let's get rid of this. I don't like that Unctus guy. Makes his shit a bit strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty happy playing this. Scrolls Hive and a Skull Bomb. Interesting. I guess I'll swing for six. What will I be discarding next time, though? I think I have to, like, Skull Bomb. Because I will probably discard the Skull Bomb anyway. Unless he plays a two drop for the Scrolls Hive. Uh, so, I'll just cycle the Skull Bomb in this case. Maybe you draw something that I can discard that's better. Okay. You have a 4-4. Four, four. That I can block with my sentry, which I will. Watcher really sucks. Oh no, I can scroll this hive, destroy that. Uh, so, yeah, I will not be using the Skull Bomb. Are oh, you gonna swing for four? No, you won't. So, my turn. Untapping. Uh, submit the scrolls hive. Destroyed the watcher. You get to draw a card. Then I bounce the raptor. Swing for lethal. See what he has. Seems fair. Seems fair. Yeah, that works. Okay. Deck's doing the thing. We'll have to move on to the next one. What the hell is going on here? Why is my icon different? Why does he have no rank? Oh, what is happening? Oh, uh, we have a game. Hmm. Hmm. I think I can keep this. I have a two drop into a, you know, proliferate thing, which puts two counters on this. Hopefully put another counter on this, play this out, make him indestructible, win the game. Simple enough. Yeah, fuck it. Don't have a planes, but do you need the planes? Yes. Not now. What you got? Well, that's strong, but I have a good three drop to, you know, deal with that. Or at least keep it at bay. Three colored decks, no fucking problem. And for two, no blocks at times. Well, I have four mana, that's good. So I guess I'll just pass. That, I can, that can be used, like, you know, as a sort of protection spell to bounce this dude. Okay. Well, at least that gives me a specific target to tap down. If he swings, I think I'll just double block. I mean, if he has something, it will suck ass, but, you yeah, know. 
I'm not too fussed about this. What is it? Cross. Fair enough. That is fine. So now I just play my boy and hope it works. Okay. One of them is gonna get big. Swings with both? No, he can't. He can't swing with any. Oh, that sucks. Uh, oh boy. I want this, but if I draw a land, then I will be able to play it. I did draw a land. Happy days. So, snare is pretty good. I'll keep the snare open. Okay, make that big. Swing with anything. He swings, I block. He pumps, I bounce. Hmm. What is gonna happen here? Hmm. Okay. I'll let him lose the two life. Would be nice to draw a land here, not that kind of land. Look out and replay the guy. Well, how many more tricks can you have? I hope, <laughs> I hope the answer is not many more. Okay, make the guy big. In with everything. Huh? No, it's just those. Uh. Yeah, cannot do much about that. Sadly. So now I'm corrupted. I have a feeling Anoint with Affliction is coming up soon. Oh, oh, he's just gonna win like this. That's also a way to win. Well, we have some stuff. So we play out this. We play out this. And hopefully this becomes these become 4-4 soon enough. Okay, wow. Wow. Uh, that is very scary. That's fine. Because, oh no, you can make it bigger. It's a 6 8 with poison 3. Uh, don't even have 8 damage. Okay. Just gonna try to hang in here. Onslaught is a card. Plus 4. So that's gonna be a six again, only gives plus one. That's not good enough. What if we play this into draw card? Yeah, something like that. Okay, makes that big again. Six, eight. Like going up to eight poison is very scary. Let's see what I have here. Probably land. Planet disruption, that changes stuff. Yeah, I like that. So I don't want to go to 8 poison. I'll sadly lose a 4 drop. He has quite a board there, but I, I might have a chance here eventually. Well, this makes it a lot better. Play this. What if I swing for 4? Will he block in any meaningful way? I don't know. Okay, and... Okay. Yeah, cool. Uh, that's a that's a fair trade for me. Okay. So that is very good for me. That unless he has a way to sack it, the this card is useless until you know the end of the game. And now I have good blockers for for what he's trying to do here. Is he gonna swing with that? Yes. That is sketchy as hell. Well, gotta do what you gotta do. So I don't want to get to hit for two poison now. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. That's gonna stay there forever. Mites is five damage. Four damage, that is, sorry. So I can... Hmm. I don't know what I can do here. I can swing with mites. 
an onslaught. Well, like I can just swing with might see how he blocks. Who cares? Blocks one. One poison go on. So charge the might's three damage. Can kill the zealot. That's the biggest issue here is the zealot, I think, for now. Yeah, yeah, if I kill the zealot. That now the four five cannot swing through at least. But he can swing with everything else and apply two poison to me, so that sucks still. Can I take three poison? I think I have to. Up to eight. I might be able to find a way to win with like plated onslaught, but it's not gonna be easy. Take action. I do not need the planes. So now I can apply poison here. And next then I can gain some life back. But the problem is that it's not life that I need, I need that fucking poison to go away somehow. You have got to be kidding me. I'll help any way I can. Am I dead? Yeah, he picks a might and the duelist and swings. I... <sighs> this is great. This is just great. Yeah, yeah. That's enough. Yeah, that was a strong deck. That was a very strong deck. I don't understand why it's three colors, obviously. You know, that never makes sense to me, but, you know, it when it works, it works. What is this? This is a keep. I go first as well, very good. I have a two drop into a planet disruption, into the guy. Good enough. Good enough. Yeah, okay. Yeah. A skull bomb. For fuck's sake. Why do people keep playing those? Oh wow. What a card. So I'm pretty happy to play Augury here. And for two and Augury. Uh, oh, I wanna say that feels like a Hexel slide, but he has a skull bomb, so that's that's probably what he's gonna do. What a play. What a play, sir. Into nothing. Love it. Shit. Oh, I'll have an enforcer. Look out. It's a card, but at this point, I don't see a reason why I shouldn't play this. And if he gives me a target for the disruption, then this is indestructible in that game. Yep, that game. Nice. Love seeing that. Activate it. For blue, Phyrexian, and one. Uh, blue, blue. Take three off. Have indestructible in with the two. I don't think green red has even a way to win here. All right, while we wait for him to figure out that green red cannot destroy indestructible creatures, I guess I'll crack a brew. Oh, get the skull bomb back! Now that is a combo. That is quite a combo. So, you did that, and I will just deal a lot of damage to you. I feel like this is a fair game. You do those things, and I will be, you know, playing creatures. Can <laughs> What the fuck can you even do here? Okay, tapped land, strong. That skull bomb has done a lot of work here. As this blast kills two creatures, and that's kind of game, isn't it?
Cool. Cool. That was good. <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh, one off from uh, Diamond. Happy days. Uh, well, this one is a bit more sketchy. Quite a bit sketchy, actually. Hmm. I think I'll mulligan this. This is a lot better. Yeah. Keep six drop, four drop. I mean, I say this is a lot better, assuming I'm gonna get to these, but this this gives me a little bit of tempo. Cine Dancer is a lot better than the chorus. I prefer Cine Dancer over chorus anytime. Swamp into a glider. Glider is not scary at all. So I will not be snaring anything. Well, let's keep drawing those lines, I guess. So I guess if you give me a good 3-drop here, I'll be kind of happy because I can snare that. Yep. Yep. Take, take. What you got? That is something I'm happy to snare here. Oh. Now if we draw a hive, of course. Play a 1-5. Play another 2-5 at this point. And yeah, I think I'll be alright. Four mana to tap down the thing. You can do that. Okay, Hive Master back in the game. Look out. Sure. Augury. Augury's alright. For next turn. No attacks. Okay. Yep, that kind of sucks. That becomes a four. Oh, it's five. That's a lot. Uh, no blocks, sadly. Hmm, Augury. I'll do this. That's nine. Uh, this into hive. What, do I not block again? That sucks. That puts him very close to Hive Master, uh, sorry, uh, Glider damage, and Glider damage will kill me. I don't think I can trade here just yet. Oh, wow. Oh no, that's Onslaught. That is Onslaught. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with an Onslaught. Okay, it's not an Onslaught. Okay, it's just the... <sighs> has to be done just don't have a okay so it yeah it doesn't tr it kills one which is fine as long as it doesn't kill both I'm kind of happy okay what else do you have there that zealot has been a problem Okay, so play this guy. Do a bit of looting. Hmm, lovely. Play an island, probably crack the bay. Sure. What's that? Doing? Okay. I thought I'm getting corrupted here. So now I absolutely have to block the Hive Master. Again, double blocking. If he has another trick, it's gonna suck. The fact that he didn't tap down one of them kinda tells me that he has something. Which is really bad for me. Okay, he doesn't. That's weird. I feel like if, if he tapped down the five or something. Oh, he still... You, that's dumb then. You could have just played it, proliferated and swung with the team. I probably would have lost at that point. Oh, I forgot to crack the bay. Uh, I should have cracked the bay. Probably is a card. Oh, that taps down the glider. That's alright. Let's draw another one. Charge of the Mites. That can kill the glider, but it needs a turn to do that. 
So it taps down the theorist. Yeah, that's two problems though. The glider and the sinew dance are both uh, problems. Yep. Edifice, sure. Kills my might, I guess. I mean, might as well. There's no reason not to. Yep. Puts it on the might. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've lost this. I don't I don't see a way out. Yeah, let's draw a card, see what we get. Uh, not this, please, that's not good. Jesus. I have to take everything, I think. <sighs> Fuck a trade with the might. That's sad. Trading a 3-drop with a Might. Also, I'm gonna lose to my Scrolls Hive as well. Oh, great. Charge of the Mites. Surgical Skull Bomb. That's a card. No, thank you. Bounce the Glider. Look out. Draw a card, discard a card. Yeah, that's game. I don't know what I was looking for even, but had to try. All right, how are we looking here? Ah, uh, it's not ideal. I won't have time to cast all of this stuff. That's the problem. Oh, that's a mulligan. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So now we have to pray. Look out. Okay, at least he's playing bad cards. I drew another land, but that's not the kind of land I needed. I mean, I'm, gla I'm glad I drew any land. Because if I can get to Mastico, then that's probably going to be game. Well, we have a 4 drop ready. So he's gonna swing for 2, I take the damage. All depends on his next play, really. Because if it's not too good, that's good. I think that's good. Sacrifice if you do reveal cards top of the iron, reveal on that. Okay. Zero time. Now we need that Master Core to happen. No blocks. Come on, land. Please land. Sucks a thing to do what? Oh, just to... Oh, wow, that's... That's insane. Thank God, we have a land. Okay. Now we're good. Now we're good. Damage here, in for a lot. A lot being two. Unless he has Molten Rebuke, that Mastico is unkillable. Oh, and Rebel Salvo. Yeah, there's a couple of cards. One the... No, don't look... No, 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 no. That's fine. Swing with the 4-4. Four, four. Oh. Sacks a thing. No, it doesn't sack a thing. I will discard my 4-drop, sadly. To kill your four drop. You will get to pick it up from your Yeah, you'll get to pick it up. That's it's still fine. Hmm. I have a prowl already. I think that's what I'm gonna be doing. So seal it on uh, this? Sure. Oh thank god. I didn't want to play through this. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it's fine. Like I was probably gonna win, but uh, just it's still a bit iffy with the with the rare that he was gonna pick up and replay. All right, this is fine. I think I'll scroll this hive as yeah turn two. 
Obviously, depends on what he plays, but an early scrolls hive can be quite wild, especially with a plated onslaught, uh, just ready to go. What if I like make mites next turn? That could be quite mean. Okay, that's pretty good. So it will depend, like, he'll probably swing for two, or maybe, maybe he'll keep it as a blocker, who knows. Okay, swings for two. So now if I make mites and planet disruption his block, he doesn't have a blocker. Well, that's wild. Why, I mean, he... Okay. He can plan a disruption of crawling chorus, I know it doesn't sound right, but to get instant... Lifelink on my mites when I have a plated onslaught like ready to go. I think that's worth it. <laughs> okay, these last games were going fucking quick. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Alright. And look at that! I'm in diamond! Look at me! Look how happy I am. Well, this is the last game. Hmm. Oh, such... Uh, I cannot keep this. For a game that I, like, really need to win, I just cannot keep a hand like that. Or I have to draw multiple lands to even be back in the game. Oh, playing nothing. That's good. Can we repeat what we did last game? That'd be amazing. Adaptive is pretty good. I could kill it now. Oh. I kinda kinda fucked that up a little bit, but that's alright. Cause I thought this thing can swing, I thought I was going to combat not to end my turn. Perfect. I think I just killed the adapt. It's a bit a bit of a scary card. Bounce land? No. Cool. Will I bounce a land? Probably not. Wait, what? What am I saying? <laughs> it's just because I have a four I don't have to bounce shit. <laughs> Fuck, what's the fuck's wrong with me? Ooh, play the dance lot. Yes, please. Uh, Enforcer can go away now. No swings. Sure. That's so fine. This is not a toxic deck, so I don't necessarily care about that. Okay, disruption is probably something I'm gonna play now and start swinging. You get a couple of toxic going. I think I've used, like, I only had two cards that use corrupted, so those are done now. Uh, this is pretty wild here, but I think I have to skull bomb now. Yep, draw a card, discard a. Ooh, oh, okay. I don't want the theorist anymore. Actually, I'll just play this. Tap down the thing. Take action, yes, please. Draw a card, discard land. In with the team again. Okay, and now we have a skull bomb bounce and plated on. Oh wait, we don't have plated onslaught. What is wrong with me? Uh, I didn't realize I don't have a second planes, and I threw away a second planes. Incubation sack is pretty bad, unless you play a land here. Uh, this is terrible. So looks like I've won this. Oh, well, that's good. It's very good. And we drew what we needed. Well, there we go. That's another seven win. Uh, rather unexpected, but, you know, the deck looked solid just due to the man from Master Core there. Let's go. Well, here we go. Look at that. Trophy number three. Three color pairs down. Only seven to go, and I got to get rid of one that I haven't played, well, I haven't trophied with before. And it's a color pair that I would rather never play, so... 
you know, it's a win. It's a big win for everyone, for the world. Either way, thank you very much for watching. Big smooches to everyone, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.